Zoe here. I am back again with another in my scrapping off the page Christmas series. Um, I have something super super quick for you today. It takes like no time at all and it looks so cute. Um, it's these uh, origami stars um, which actually look really really cute um, on the walls as Christmas decorations. Um, they look really cute layered. And you can use them as gift toppers. Um, I tend to make them just to throw up on my walls. Um, it's a really inexpensive way to just add a little bit of Christmas cheer around the house. And they look really, really, really lovely with um, banners and the, um, the big circular fans, paper fans. Um, anyway, they take like a half second to make. They take no time at all. So I'm going to show you and I'm going to try and do it really slowly um, and we'll see how we get on. So I'm going to do a big one for now but you can do them any size you like. You just need to start off with a square piece of paper uh, which I have here now. This is a 12 by 12 um, but as I say you can do them any size. Okay so you would start by folding it in half, making sure your corners meet nicely and just giving it a fold. I'm just using a bone folder here to get a good crease. You're going to take your bottom right corner and bring it up to the middle, lining up this edge with your top edge. And again, just give it a nice fold. Open up and do the same thing again. You're going to take your top right corner, bring it down so that this edge lines up with this bottom edge here. Really, really easy. Believe me, it is easy. If I can do it, anybody can. Just give it a nice fold. Okay open that back out so now you'll have a, yeah, I'm not sure if you can actually see it very well but you'll have um, a cross folded into your paper so you're going to take your bottom left corner and bring it in to meet the cross so where the point meets in the center of the cross you've got your bottom left corner and you're just going to fold it in to meet that central point of your cross just like that then take this corner again and line up this edge with this edge it sounds complex but honestly once you've done it a couple of times it will be absolute second nature you just line up those two edges and fold it down and you're going to take your bottom right corner and ignore the folds you've made there and line up these two central edges like so So you end up with something that looks a little bit like this. And you're going to fold these two back on themselves, just like this. You end up with something that looks a little bit like a, um, a bouquet of flowers, maybe? Something like that. And that's it. That's all your folding done. Then you're just going to grab a pair of scissors. And you see this bottom or top corner here that's where you're going to snip now when you're snipping down that's the angle of the points of your star so they can be as short or as deep as you like I like my stars relatively pointy so I'm going to chop right down here like so Ta -da! okay so you end up with this. You just open that sucker out. And you end up with something that looks a little bit like this. Now, what you're going to do is you fold lines along your points. 
you're going to fold them outwards then your shorter lines you're going to fold them in so along your point lines you fold that crease line out then you your shorter lines in out in out in out and in and there you go that took no time at all you have a super cute star that will stick on your wall really easily you can use um, nice ribbon or um, post-it poster um, tack or fishing wire however you want and as I say if you make them different sizes they actually do layer really really beautifully and look um, super lovely um, and as I say I do use these in my decor um, I've only done a few so far so I only have a few um, finished but I will show a picture of the few that I've done so far uh, and that's it super 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 quick um, took like no time at all uh, maybe you'll find it helpful I hope so um, you have I think at this point a week left to enter the cracker giveaway i'll link that down below um but yeah i will see you next time